now let's move on to making that detail map for the displacement inside of ZBrush. So to make this, uh, we actually have to combine everything we've done so far inside of Photoshop to make this effect work properly. So all I'm going to do is go to the Layers panel, select the first one, hold Shift, and select the bottom, select them all, and then go to Layer and Duplicate at the top. I'm going to duplicate those layers so we get a second and then go back to layer again and go all the way down to the bottom or control E and merge those selected layers so it's all combined to one and this one I'm just going to rename it detail BW so black and white so I'm going to convert this into a black and white image so we're going to go to image adjustments and it kind of goes off screen there a little bit, so I'm going to move this over. Image adjustments and go to hue and saturation. And then I'm going to go to saturation here and drop it all the way down to negative 100, all the way to the left. Hit OK. And then I'm going to go to filter. And then I'm going to go all almost all the way down to other. And then we're going to do high pass. So filter, other, high pass. Click on that. And you can see what it's doing. It's actually going in there and adding this very minute amount of detail. If I take the little cursor and hover over it, you can see this small gray amount, grayscale detail. And this is going to be really cool inside of ZBrush. The really pull that extra detail. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of crank it up into the 8 or 9 region right there and just kind of let's do a little bit of an 8 and kind of crank it up. You don't want to crank it up too much. I mean if you crank it up like this then it's that's just way too much. Even even this is too much. You know anything around you don't really want to push past 10 to be honest. Uh, then you're just you're you're adding too much. Again, this is more of a nice, subtle effect that we want to go for. And we want to keep it uh, a little um, neutral, but just enough to give us that bite that we're looking for. So, again, don't push this past 10 pixels. Uh, and again, for this one, I'm doing about 8 or 9. Hit OK. Then it's applied. Now we've got both maps that we need to get it all to send it over to ZBrush. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and then I'll save this out as a ping, and then I've already got it saved out, so this is my scan box, Retopo Text Detail, and I'll save that as a ping, and I'll hit Save. And there it goes. And then I'll do my color map, I'll turn off I'll go over to the layers panel, I'll turn off that top layer, and again it keeps all my adjustments. Then I'll go to File, Save As. Oh, this looks like it's still saving out my ping here. So I'll give it a second. Now it's finished saving the detail map. I'm gonna go back to file, save as, and then this one, I'll do another ping. And this one will be my text CC. And then the reason why I'm putting CC is my color correct. And I'll just hit OK on that. And then that will save out. And then what you want to do after that is probably save your Photoshop document just in case you have to come back into it to make some adjustments later down the line. But at least you've got everything here if you need to do that. All right. Let's head into ZBrush. Now we're back in ZBrush and we want to check uh, on the color map and that detail map that we made in Photoshop make sure they all work and apply it onto our model. And we're going to do that inside of ZBrush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the tool. <clears throat> and uh, I'll give that a second to drop in. 
drag it out, hit T to activate the tool, the sub tool, and make sure it rotates. And then we're going to come down to texture map, click on that, and we're going to hit new texture. And this allows us to bring in new textures into ZBrush. So you always have to kind of activate this. So hit new, it turns it all on, and now we can move on to the next step. So what, now we're going to go all the way across <clears throat> and go over to Alpha. And we're going to say Import. And we're going to bring in that detail map we made in Photoshop. So right here, here's our detail map. Open that up. And then go back into Alpha. And we do have to flip the vertical orientation of the image because that's what ZBrush does programmed in and it's just every texture you bring in you have to flip it on the V and that per se is vice versa every time you export a texture out of ZBrush you have to flip it again so it can be read by another program it's kind of an annoying feature of ZBrush but it's the way it is so I'll click on flip V that should be the correct orientation and then now I go to displacement under the texture map and then right here you've got this little empty thumbnail click on it and then our map should be here along the top click on that and then you can see displacement is turned on and intensity set to zero so we're just going to slightly and you can see if I over crank it, it applies that map way too much so let's see the sweet spot is gonna be about I'm gonna double click on it and I'm just going to manually type it in like zero zero five and you can see if I turn it on and off you can see that little bit of detail coming through looks really good if you think it's a little too much I think it's a little too much I'm going to dial that down to like point zero zero four now let's try point zero zero three that's good. It's not too harsh, but enough to see the detail all the way around. Looks good. Let's zoom back out. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this onto our model. So again, this is just kind of a pseudo texturing at this point we're going to actually apply it that as a displacement and now it's embedded into our geometry pretty cool right so <clears throat> now let's go on and move on to loading the texture map and see if that works well let's head to the top where we find the tab called texture click on it we're going to import and then we're going to click on the texture CC ping file or the color correction and then go back to texture click on it so in this little tab you'll see a little thumbnail for it click on it it will select it and then all these options to edit that texture has now been highlighted and then you have to hit do the flip V flip on the vertical and there you go. Now we're going to come down to displacement. Right above displacement is texture map. Click on that. Again, texture should still be on. We're going to go to image. Click on it. Should be right here at the top under quick pick. Click on it. Should load in just fine. Now there is a little bit of a red shift to it because we haven't changed the actual shader that the polygons have been color or shading with. So we're going to come over here where it says Mac Cap Material. So if I hover it, it says Material, click on it. And we get all these different shaders that we can use inside of ZBrush. The one I want to go is under going to be under Standard Materials, Fast Shader. So it should be right under Standard Materials. Click on that. And again, this shader gives us a little bit better representation of what that texture is going to look like on the model and it looks like that color correction worked pretty well for the top 
and the bottom so we know that works just fine now we need to export this out as our high poly object and our low poly object uh, so we can drop it back into a program like painter and add a little bit more PBR like putting like this middle strip right here and adding some metalness to it so that is something that substance painter can help us with and also bake out the maps you also could just take this back into X normal and bake out the maps there because I just showed you how and if you didn't have to do any extra stuff for texturing like inside a substance painter you could just make the maps from that so it's kind of up to you how you want to do it but I'm going to drop it in the painter I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, workflow in there for this particular object and you can decide if that's going to work for your object or not um, so the other thing too is the model has changed a little bit in the actual polygons so your high poly model does affect your low poly model so there are some changes that happen and sometimes uh, some people like to export the low res model inside of ZBrush back out because of the changes that were done on the high and it sometimes gives you a better ac uh, accuracy if you do that or sometimes people just whatever model was made inside of Maya or whatever program you use to retopologize just use that one again for your low poly so it's kinda up to you how you want to do it but I'm gonna export my low poly and my high poly and then use those to bake with in whatever program I want to use and that's gonna be substance painter for this instance again you can use X normal so we'll be exporting as OBJs I want to make sure I go to the tools panel go all the way down to the bottom I want to go to export and I want to make sure that group so export subgroups is turned off when we export as an OBJ so that's something that you that's really important so right now we're on the high poly let's check it under the geometry tab there it is highest subdivisions we'll go up to the top of the tool panel find export and we'll do scan box retop on ZBrush high res and this one's gonna be version 2 and I'll save this out now this will take a little bit of time because this is a really dense model and just you just have to sit there and let ZBrush chug through it uh, and sometimes it looks like ZBrush is gonna die on you just give it time it will finish it up so I'm gonna pause it and then we'll come back to it alright it finally finished the high res export so now let's make the low I'm gonna go to geometry and drop the subdivisions all the way down the one that's looking pretty good there alright and then we'll make sure our export options are still looking good yep group is turned off and then now we'll go export and then I'll do the uh, retopo low, uh, low poly and I'll just have it V2 and I'll save that and that should be real quick there now we've gone through and exported both models with the UVs now let's drop it into our program for baking. So again, it could be X normal or Substance Painter. All right, see you in a bit.